Hi booktube, my name is Laura and welcome to Book Bubbler. Today I thought I would do a quick little TBR for what I'll be reading on Winter Cozy, Cozy Reading Night. This is hosted by Lauren of Lauren and the Books. She usually hosts them seasonally, so every kind of quarter or so, but she had an extra one thrown in for Christmas which was lovely. Anyways, this Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m., um, she's um, in England, so it's GMT, but for me, I'm in Central Time Zone in the States. <coughs> I think that would be something like 8 in the morning, which I could do a winter cozy reading morning, but I like the idea of a night better. So I'll be reading from 7 to 10 p.m. Saturday night here at my house. I might try and um, brave lighting my fire. I haven't lit my fireplace in a few years and I'm a little nervous about it. I think it needs to be checked, but I also really miss having a fire, so I may chance it. Anyways, so you should check out Lauren's channel if you're not already subscribed or watch her or anything. Anyways, um, also I apologize for this weird like stuff here. I got my um, hair done today, so the dye always sticks around longer. Ladies, you know what that's like. Anyways, on to my TBR. So I have a couple of library books that I'd like to get through. The first one is one that I've been working on for a little while off and on, and I really, really like it a lot, but I just need to get back to it and maybe finish it up, hopefully. And that is Reflex by Dick Francis. Um, Dick Francis was a recommendation from one of my clients. Um, a lot of my clients are readers also, so it's kind of nice we can chat about books before and after what we've been reading, you know, if they heard someone else like something, it's really nice. Anyways, um, this one is about a photographer who gets um, blackmailed by his sort of friend, acquaintance, um, cohort, um, his this person's father. Um, and the, then this guy dies. And um, he is sort of investigating, but also sort of looking for this long lost sister that he didn't know he had a half sister. So I'm just a little ways into it, maybe 80 pages or something, but really good. Would like to get into it again and just finish it. It's yeah, really nice writing. I'm surprised I like Dick Francis, quite honestly. And the next library book I want to get to is Hidden Depths by Anne Cleves. This is the third in the Vera series. If you watch that, um, excellent mystery series, which you should. Brenda, Bre Brenda Blethen is wonderful. Blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> but this is really, really good. I This is the third book. I have the fourth one coming soon um, over ebook through my library. I need to get to this one first. So hopefully I can knock this one out sometime soon as well. Then I just kind of pulled a few things from little piles that were scattered all over my living room. Um, my newest book in for not even a book haul really but it's A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozloff. This just came out this last Tuesday. This is the first in a quartet of uh, science fiction books. These are being released one a month so this one was just out you know mid-January then it's mid-February, March, and April and I would like to read this before the second book comes out and actually read something in a timely fashion. It's a little bit chunky, but you know, I'm sure once I get rolling, it'll be really good. And I don't know if there's ever been something like this before where they publish a whole series back to back in a fairly short time span. So I like that idea and I want to help support this author. So Queen in Hiding. After that is, um, the Dead Ringer by M.C. Beaton. This is the next one for me in the Agatha Raisin series. I am really sad that the author passed away at the beginning of this month, end of December. I forget which. It's just a few weeks ago she passed away in her 80s. And I hope that someone else will take up both this series and the Hamish Macbeth series since I like reading both of those as well. So just a little cozy couple hours. I could probably read it. I have this one and then I think there's one new one and after that there might be the end of it. I mean, I, I don't know. It's hard with long-standing series. There's like 30 some books, I think, in both series and I like them all. I like getting to know characters and stuff. So I hope someone picks it up and starts reading it, but uh, write, reading it, writing it anyways, but I hope to get to this one. And in a fellow booktuber land, <clears throat> I would like to start working on the bookshop book by Jen Campbell. Jen's got such a wonderful channel. Um, I really like her taste. I really trust her. And I didn't realize that 
this Jen Campbell was booktube Jen Campbell until just recently. I, I mean, I don't know what I was thinking, but anyways, this should be hopeless and I can kind of pick up and put down as I'm reading through things and kind of make my way through it, you know, that way in little like chunks at a time. And then this one is just for no real reason other than I really want to read it. And I feel like getting tucked into a big chunky book. Now I am doing a buddy read with Danny of Spinelli Speaks with the book London by Edward Rutherford. And I don't want to, I haven't started that yet, but I don't want to do that one because that one's sort of already planned. I want to do my own big chunky book. So The Count of Monte Cristo. This really is a chunkster. If this was hardcover, this could be an actual doorstopper, I'm pretty certain. But I've owned this for a long time and never gotten around to it for no reason. It is really snowy. It's supposed to snow, I think, the next few days, a couple of inches each day. So kind of the perfect excuse to really tuck into something later at night and just read and read and read. So I hope that this goes well and I can get a nice portion of it done on Cozy Reading Night. So are you guys joining in Cozy Reading Night? Do you follow Lauren? Have you done these before? Let me know if you've read any of these books, if you have any other chunky recommendations. Lord knows I have enough on my shelf and I don't need recommendations, but I always want them. So please leave something below. And yeah, I hope you guys join in. It should be a really nice little introverty night by ourselves. So hope you're doing well and staying warm and I will talk to you soon. Bye.